All right, well, it is getting to be that time of year. We're talking spooky events, costume gatherings, and of course, haunted houses. And one of the haunted houses, if you weren't aware, is actually a nonprofit house. We are joined by Jeff Labori, executive director of the Haunted Scarecrow, the only not profit, nonprofit haunted house in the Duke City. Jeff, thanks for coming in. Appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Good to see you again. All right, so why make this uh, a, a not for profit haunted house? Well, I, you know, I saw a need in New Mexico um, after having gone to a place like Endorphin Power Company mm -hmm. uh, that there's people that, that need help um, mm -hmm. homeless people, people that have recovered from substance abuse. Mm -hmm. That, that need this transitional process that they offer. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were shy of money and I had this haunted house idea and, yeah. and it's blossomed from there to this gigantic yeah. monster. Now you started doing like sort of a home haunt, right? Yes. Like you, it was something in the garage with your son and then it really has grown into, and, and honestly, and I, I, I'm not, you know, trying to aggrandize this at all. Everyone that I speak to that, it, that went to the Haunted Scarecrow last year loved it. I thought yes. it was so scary. So how long have you been doing this for the public at, on a larger scale? Well, professionally, we've been doing it for five years. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's great. So um, what sets your haunted house apart from some of the others? I think the, the biggest thing that we do is we train the actors to scare the you-know-what out of people. <laughs> and that our whole focus, because I've gone through haunted houses throughout the country mm -hmm. and in Europe and places like that when I, as a kid growing up. Mm -hmm. And when I go through a haunted house, I want to be scared. Yeah. And when I go through and I get to the end and I'm not really scared, mm -hmm. I, you know, I saw a lot of creeps, mm -hmm. but I didn't have fun because yeah. I didn't get scared and I want that adrenaline rush. Right. So our focus is to scare the you know what out of people. Right. Okay. So, That's always good. Yeah. Now, you mentioned something that I want to talk a little bit about, the Endorphin Power Company. What is that? Endorphin Power Company is a transitional living community that takes people who have started the recovery process and now they come to transition back to normal society. Mm -hmm. Um, if they recover and they go home, they're subject to the peer pressures that they had to get them involved in that in the first place. Mm -hmm. We take that peer pressure aspect away and we give them a positive peer pressure over there and uh, gives them a way to uh, move forward into, like I said, back to normal society to normal through the four pillar program that they offer. And also homeless people. I mean, we, we, we have brought homeless people in and we these are people that want to get off the streets. Right. And so the, the proceeds that, that you raise by doing the Haunted Scarecrow, that it goes to these organizations. That is, is that correct. Right? Okay. That's fantastic. So, of course, the big question, I, I got to say, when I was younger, when I was in college, I worked at a haunted house as one of the actors. It was, aside from this job, my favorite job I've ever had. It was so much fun being one of the actors in the haunt. So, big question here, are you looking for volunteers? We are. We are okay. looking for volunteers, and if anybody's interested, they can get a hold of me at uh, jeff at hauntedscarecrow.com. Mm -hmm. They can call Endorphin Power Company at 268-3372, mm -hmm. or they can get a hold of Warehouse 508. Um, through their website mm -hmm. at uh, warehouse508.org uh -huh. or nmxsports.org. Okay, and so uh, as you were saying, this is going to be at Warehouse 508. The Haunted House uh, opens its doors when? The October 3rd. October 3rd. Right. So uh, this is the second year that you've partnered with Warehouse 508. That is correct. That's fantastic. So how is that partnership going? Obviously pretty well. Since yeah, it's, going, it's going really well. Uh, they're actually keeping our equipment in the basement for us and, and mm -hmm. helping us out. and. Uh, uh, Really, they're just open arms for for this whole haunted house. I guess they've been wanting to do this for several years, mm -hmm. and and we brought this opportunity mm -hmm. to them last year. That's fantastic. So I know that you're you're in the design process right now. You're building everything, getting it ready to go. Um, I think this is pretty fantastic. You were saying during the break, you're estimating it's going to take about 15 minutes to get through this haunted house. Yeah, is 15, that right? 15 if you're or not more. if you're not bolting. <laughs> yeah, if through. you're not running through. <laughs> right. Okay. So I mean, that's that's a really great time. You're really getting your money's worth out of this. We're, we're really trying to give them a, a good ride for the for the price and for the time. Okay. And we are the, right now that I'm aware of the cheapest in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. It's great, and the money going to a very great cause. Right. Now, you mentioned some of the partners that you have, NMX Sports. Um, they're going to be here to talk about their zombie walk, the 5 okay. Uh Who are the other organizations that you're partnering with to well, make this happen? We've got Endorphin Power Company. We've got Warehouse 5 Way and NMX Sports. Uh, I have sponsors out there uh, like Geno's Pizza, mm -hmm. um, Ram Motors. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to find more sponsors, people okay. that are interested in helping us out to help make this thing even better. Um, and then uh, volunteers, like I said, you know, without the volunteers, this thing couldn't even happen. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So businesses, even if they want to get involved, yes. you're still looking for that. Yeah, and you know, we even have like uh, keepsake uh, tickets, and uh -huh. on the backside, if anybody wanted to put their stuff oh, on the backside, a logo or a gift certificate, uh -huh. 
you know, we'll sell those for them. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So you open the doors October 3rd. October 3rd. Runs through, um, Very, obviously, Halloween. November 1st. November 1st. So yes. you still have the day after. And the one thing is the last week of Halloween mm -hmm. uh, or of October, we're probably going to do Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. So otherwise, what are the, uh, the nights that it runs? Friday and Saturday, every weekend through October. Okay, fantastic. All right, for more information, folks, if you would like to sponsor, if you would like to volunteer, or you just want to get the you-know-what scared out of you, oh, yeah. head over to krqe.com, <laughs> click on our links. So good Great. to see you again. Can't wait to try the haunted house this year. All right. All right, we will be 